Hi, I am Dr. Pat Rabjohn, a board certified psychiatrist and the owner here at Rabjohn Behavioral Institute. We are very happy to offer a unique and advanced psychotherapy called eye movement desensitization reprocessing or simply EMDR. It's for people with PTSD, panic disorder, anxiety, low self-esteem, and other issues resulting from past trauma. We have known for a while that early adverse life events may be the basis for a variety of negative and damaging psychological symptoms. EMDR is an empirically validated therapy that targets unprocessed memories connected to adverse experiences like war, sexual abuse, and physical abuse. While your body survives these events, your mind may not heal as you would like, leaving you with nightmares, flashbacks, high anxiety, and a very negative self outlook. By processing these traumatic memories, there can be rapid symptom relief, less flashbacks, less panic attacks, and less obsessive thoughts. I'm going to have our EMDR therapist, Tiffany Milet, tell you a little bit more about this very specialized and exciting therapy. Hi, I'm Tiffany Milet a licensed clinical social worker, and I've been here at Rapjohn Behavioral Institute since 2012. A primary focus of mine is using various psychotherapy techniques to lower and remove anxiety. In order to provide even more options for patients, I have completed my EMDR training through the EMDR Institute and EMDR International Association approved provider. You have probably heard the phrase, time heals all wounds. Not necessarily true, is it? If you're suffering from past trauma, obsessive compulsive disorder, phobias, depression, performance anxiety, medically unexplained physical symptoms, low self-esteem, or have a history of adverse life experiences, EMDR may be a very useful therapy for you. The brain is a very complex organ with a variety of roles to perform each day. One of the brain's primary roles is to process a wide degree of incoming information. So basically, it is an information processing system. Throughout the day, this information processing system will take in a variety of emotions and feelings via our day-to-day -day experiences. We want the brain to be adaptive in that the brain will take what is useful and disregard what isn't. We want these emotions and experiences to be resolved or processed. For example, let's say you have a very bad argument with a family member. You are angry, upset, frustrated, and sad. You are probably also upset and disappointed with yourself, but you walk away, you go home and stew about it and play the conversation over and over in your head and then you eventually go to sleep. The next morning you wake up and don't feel so bad about what happened. Maybe you have adapted or reached a resolution. This happens because the brain's adaptive information processing system was activated. We think this mainly occurs during REM sleep, a stage of sleep where scientists hypothesize that memories are processed and modified or when the adaptive resolution takes place. EMDR therapy is an eight-phase treatment protocol that uses the adaptive information processing model, which states memory networks are the basis of pathology and health, and that the body is naturally geared toward health. The goal of EMDR therapy is to create an adaptive resolution of a past trauma and to assist the client in responding to life's current and future demands. Prior to the actual reprocessing session, the EMDR therapist works to identify the memories needing adaptation and the related negative beliefs about the patient. Throughout the course of treatment, you will also identify situations in the future that you anticipate having similar anxieties and develop an alternate pattern of response to those as well. EMDR reprocessing typically involves a series of repetitive eye movements that is a simulation of the rapid eye movements that occurs during REM sleep. This is not hypnosis because unlike hypnosis, you are the one in control and it will be your own brain doing the healing. This happens through the eye movements guided by the EMDR therapist. The eye movements lead the brain to free associate to related memories, thus linking the past and present. By using these eye movements, we think processing of past trauma is initiated by the idea of dual attention or focusing on the eye movements while focusing on the memory, or through encouraging the brain to access both the left and right hemisphere. This causes the memory to be processed from a highly charged emotional memory to a more adaptive form. However, the reality is we aren't 100% sure why or how this therapy works, but with over 30 extensive clinical trials, we know it is very effective when performed by a trained and experienced therapist with a patient who desires to improve the quality of their life.
If you would like to schedule, call us at 817-539-2282 so that we can assist you. If you would like to schedule, call us at 817-539-2282 so that we can assist you.